I've been fishing with my dad since I was a little girl. And it was few and far between that he had days where he could go out in a boat and just fish because he worked all the time. I've sort of been like that for the past, I don't know, five years pursuing this music thing. It's been constant gigs, you know, 150, 200 shows a year. Um, it's been traveling overseas to go on a month tour. The first month or two of this whole pandemic situation, um, I was definitely on that first rung of like Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Like I was looking for food, shelter, security, you know, feeling very insecure in my career and in life and what was going to happen. And what I found was it's the least creative that I've ever been in my life because I wasn't sure that my basic needs were going to be met. As the pandemic went on and as lockdown continued, I sort of settled in and got comfortable with where things were. And now I'm at the point, finally, what is it, three months in, where I feel like I can write songs again. Welcome to Tribe I'm Troubadour. My name's Scott Lowe. We're at Hatch Camp in Clayton, Georgia. And I'm here with my friend, Heidi Holton. Trap on Troubadour. Crossed conditions on Patty Street.
that tension. Always keep them tight. No more brushes. Try to pull them up to the surface a little bit. Okay, let them out. Let them out. Try to pull them up one more time. Alright, give them that upstream pressure. A couple reels. If he, if, he, if he wants to turn on him, you gotta stop, okay? If he wants to pull away, you wanna stop. Alright, try to lift him up a little bit. Try to get him to the surface, right in my neck. I do. Well, first we're gonna, free? Oh yeah, first we're gonna get this fly out of here. <laughs> okay. Because it already came out of him. As soon as I netted him, the fly was out. Oh my gosh. So that just shows you, like, you gotta keep that tension on him. Or right. Because we use mainly barbless hooks. Oh, he's so beautiful. That is a really nice looking fish, Heidi. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and get untangled a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take this and just put it right here. <clears throat> oh, can I touch him? Yeah, absolutely. <gasps> I want to pet him. He's so beautiful. Oh, mm -hmm. and it's slimy. <laughs> so do you want to pick him up? Yeah, I want to pick him up. Are All you right, going to take so my picture with him? Sure. Okay. I mean, video of you. Awesome. So what I want you to do when you pick him up, I want okay. both hands to go behind the fish. Okay. So because, like but hold this? on, stop, 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 stop. No? Okay. So I want you to get the one hand back around the tail oh. here, and you're going to kind of hold the tail, oh. and then you're just going to cradle under the belly. Okay. You know? All right. I'm and ready. then kind of lift up with the tail and just cradle the belly, okay? okay. <gasps> <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> you want, they don't, okay. they have little teeth, but it doesn't really hurt. Well, do I pick him up when he's facing me, or does he have you to be flipped over? Flip him over? I like him that way. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're never going to do what you want them to okay. do. Okay. So flip that back in around so it goes oh. behind him. Oh, this yeah, way? Like okay. Because like you that. want to show off the fish. Okay. <gasps> yeah. And then I hold and his lift belly. That tail. Ah! Wait, he's too slippery. Right. I know, you'll get him. <laughs> you'll get him. Okay. Let me see. Come here. Be nice. Just kind of flip him up this way. Okay. Yeah. And then oh, that. shit. It's all right. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I didn't mean to cuss on camera. Wait, how now did you, you do that? <laughs> now, now you I just do grab it? him. You okay. Just grab him he's from me. so slippery. Yeah. Okay. And I got the net to catch it. Can he live? Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we have Heidi Holton here. Um, today's your birthday. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for taking me out on the water. I mean, it's you know? a pretty good birthday. Yeah, it's a hell of a birthday. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> so why don't you tell us, like, you play music. That's kind of part of the theme of the show. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your music and where you come from? Yeah, absolutely. I am from Murphy, North Carolina, and I've been playing music for about 25 years. Um, I play acoustic blues. Nice. Um, travel all around the country. Mm -hmm. I travel internationally, mm -hmm. and you know, music when there's is... not a pandemic. Exactly. Right. Um, but yeah, music is my full-time gig, and yeah. I absolutely love it. Yep, and you're very good at it. Well, thank you. You've how many times have you played here at Hatch Camp? Oh man. Five, I, I want to say five or six, five, yeah. yeah. And we've had some pretty amazing shows. This is honestly year. one of my favorite places to play. I right, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I feel the same way. Like I feel like I've tried. We've tried to build a very, you know, supportive, artist-friendly venue. Yeah, and, and you've know, succeeded yeah. for sure. Because I mean, I was like you for a long time, traveling around and testing out stages, and I was like knowing eventually that I would hopefully have one and. Here we are. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I feel like a musician is the perfect person to build a stage because right. they know what works and what doesn't. But musicians usually can't afford a stage. Absolutely. Are you like loaded or something? No. Trap Bomb Troubadour. Hey all, this is Scott Lowe at Hatch Camp in Clayton, Georgia for Trap Bomb Troubadour. Today we're going to talk about waders and why we wear them. Um, I just got these fancy new waders. Uh, Beginning of the spring here, end of the spring, and then it got too warm to wear them. 
Let's talk about that for a second. We wear waders to keep us dry, but we also wear waders to keep us warm. Um, waders can be made of all kinds of things. These are really nice Gore-Tex, probably three-ply Gore-Tex, made by Sims, but there's neoprene waders and all kinds of other ones, but these are kind of the leading um, in the industry right now. Um, waders come, you know, different colors, different sizes. Um, most common is a stocking foot wader, which is just a neoprene sock on it, and then we're going to take and put our boot over it. But they do make waders that come already with boot on. These ones already have felt bottoms on them, we'll talk about what goes on your feet in a minute, but you can buy waders already with boots on. I like, I like my boots, the boots can be a little more specialized if they're not already attached. You know, say you got wide feet or you needed to change soles because in some states, and I think it's kind of leading to all states, felt bottom boots are illegal in some states because they carry parasites and we don't want to hurt fish. Um, so we wear waders pretty much when the water is under 55 degrees. Hypothermia is 50 degrees, so you want to get that water a little bit above 55 so that you're not, uh, you're not hurting your lower extremities. Hope you learned something. Have a good day. Well, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me that you came here tonight to uh, spend my birthday with me. Thank you. 
So y'all, make sure to tune in, share, subscribe to this channel. It's really important to help us get all the extra tools and whistles and things from YouTube. Um, please make sure to tune in next time. If you're subscribed, it'll show up right on your screen right here.